Good morning. Today you get me instead of Bob, we're here in the city of Bath. But I am a literature fan and he is not. And did you know that Jane Austen lived and wrote for four or five years here in Bath? If you're a Jane Austen fan, you probably know that because she mentions Bath in more than one of her books. She wrote uh, Persuasion here and another one, can't remember which. And here's a beautiful square. And as I walk up the street, though I am waiting till they let me cross, I see in the distance a medieval woman. And I believe it may even be that I'm looking at Jane Austen here. My poor ice covered fingertips holding onto this GoPro to make a video. But we're here today, this morning, to visit the Jane Austen Center and Regency Tea Rooms. And this, in fact, is Jane Austen. It opens in about five minutes and we'll have fun going in to meet her and her Regency era friends and characters. And they just opened the doors of the Jane Austen Center. And here we have the butler. I beg your pardon, I'm Mr. Knightley, thank you very much. Oh my please. gosh, it's Mr. Yeah. Knightley. I do, I do the occasional stint as a doorman, you know. <laughs> Am Welcome I am I allowed? What was that? Welcome all you wonderful visitors. Well, thank you. Well, I should have known that you would do that, Mr. Of Knightley, course. because you are not at all snobby. No, no, I'm not too bad at all. I don't know. I moved in with my father-in-law. I mean, that's quite something, don't you? Uh, yes, I, I agree. That's why I do this. It gets me away from it. <laughs> so, how is Emma? Emma's very well. Is she inside? Will I She's meet her not today? In today? No, she runs the shop. Ah. And pretty much everything else. She's amazing. Oh, I'm sure. She's the, sort of, she's the manager, front of the house manager here. Well, of course. Yeah. But she's, she's not, not in. in. No. Oh, my goodness. We've got, we've well, I hope Jane will be here. We've got Harriet Smith. Okay. Well, and this young lady turning up is actually Lydia Bennett. She's not in Hello, the proper dear. costume yet. Who else have we got? Not we've got decent yet. Yes. So we've Lydia's got not actually. Lizzie Bennett in there as well. Oh, well, I'm glad Lizzie's in there she's because. She's lovely, really lovely. Yes, Lydia's not actually my favourite Bennett. No, no, she has quite a time here, I can tell you. Yes, I mean. I She's like. Her, I might like her mother even more. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> so Jane is not here today. Jane's not here today. No. No. Well, we have the wax figure of Jane. Okay. She's very famous. Because my son met Jane. Um, when he was here if you, last year. When you meet year. Jane, if you look around her neck, she's wearing this beautiful topaz cross, which is a replica of one given to her by her brother Charles. Oh, what do you he know? He won some prize money in 1801, capturing one of Napoleon's vessels. Oh my. And um, won 30 pounds with the promise of another 10. Oh my. So 40 pounds was a huge sum. And Jane's letter to Cassandra, her sister, is hilarious. Because she's admonishing him in the letter, saying what use is it winning prizes if he spends the money on his sisters? That sort of thing's hilarious. Wow, that's wonderful. She was so gifted. She was amazing. Well, I guess I better get in there. You're very welcome. Well, thank you. So tickets are available in the little I shop already, on the right. I already, oh, got I have a ticket. You're organized. I wish everybody was as organized. Yes, I've had it sorted already. Lovely. Thank Enjoy. you. You're thank very you. Welcome. Mr. Darcy, in case you didn't recognize him. Welcome to the Jane Austen Center. And Mr. Knightley is a wonderful character from Emma. He's talking about Emma Woodhouse. Oh my goodness. And she must work here in the gift shop. Hello. Oh my. So many things to buy here. But first we must go on a tour. And first, we must use the facilities, if they have them. They make it very easy to know which bathroom to use. Clearly, I should not go into the one labeled Mr. Darcy, but instead, Lizzie Bennet. In we go. Here I am in the waiting area. They're showing a video. <gasps> it's the statue outside of the center. Jane's day out. Jane just took us all over bath. And here in the enter room, we have some interactive fun we can have. We can take quizzes about Jane Austen, beginner, 
to meet an expert, there's a Jane Austen word search, as well as coloring for the younger set. I just finished being given an introductory tour by Elizabeth Bennett herself. And she showed me many things that she did not allow me to videotape. But here is video of, uh, here's a picture of Jane, the portrait by her sister Cassandra. Another portrait that may be Jane. And we go around, here's another picture by Cassandra, drawn while Jane was living in Bath. Now, one that seems to have been made by a, um, a cousin, maybe? It says, L'amable Jane, or Lovable Jane at the top. And uh, at the bottom it says, probably Jane Austen. This is believed to actually be her niece. And then this is believed to be the first fan art of Jane Austen. And then we go in here to a timeline of Jane's life. Including when she visited Bath for the first time began writing Juvenalia at age 11. And here we come to the page about the room about persuasion. This is her brother. She was one of eight children, seventh of eight, and this one was a naval officer. Here's his picture. And here's a costume from the movie Persuasion. She didn't, but in 1772, from one of these houses, the playwright Richard Sheridan eloped with one of the. It's one of the character I'm assuming from one of her novels, or maybe this is supposed to be Jane. Nice outfit, huh? They're not really telling me. There's some fruit on the hat, which was very fashionable at the time, and high busts. Really, some beautiful detail on this original outfit. Even the buttons are just lovely. That's how she would have looked wearing it, I guess. And as we go forward, more Georgian stuff. Jane taking tea. Women's dress at the time. It was inspired by neoclassical style. Dresses were worn with high waistlines. Bodice is cut short. See, long flowing skirts. And the men with their cravats, which we've all seen in the movies. Up ahead, I believe we are going to meet a character from one of Jane's novels. I see her sitting there. I'm ready for my close up, my dear. And who are you? I am the one, the only Lydia Bennett, of course, my dear. I'm sure you've heard of me. Yeah, who hasn't heard of you? You were a exactly. big scandal. Scandal, my dear. Free-spirited, I'd like to say, of course. <laughs> and, and how are you today? I'm doing just fine. We're very happy to be here. Wonderful. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself, my dear. You've come on a good day, as it's quite quiet today. So I know. To I seem to have the whole place to myself. What is this? So this is our dressing up cupboard here. Do feel free to try on some bits and bobs if you like. We've got Spencer jackets, gowns, menswear, all the accessories you could dream of, and the lovely Mr. Darcy, of course, waiting for his blushing bride. Oh. Well, certainly better than Mr. Wickham. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so offended, my dear. How dare you? I have to get my papa down here to do something about this. Oh, no. Although saying that, I haven't seen Mr. Wickham for a few days. Uh. Probably off charming ladies, of course. Oh, I'm oh. sorry to hear that. Terrible life. Oh. I'm sure it is. All right, I'll have to try something on. Absolutely, my dear. Do go ahead. Some more beautiful Regency clothing. And of course, over here, as you'll see in a moment, I got to wear a gown and a hat and carry a reticule, wear some gloves, and pose with Mr. Darcy, on whom I should have put a hat. Isn't he cute, though? Look at him. Oh, uh, yeah to die for. Up this hallway, we start to see some references to the movies. Do you recognize who these characters are? Oh, 
Well, look who it is. And this is how they would write. Yes, so we have some quill and ink that you can try. Uh -oh. so, and then over here we have Jane Austen's handwriting. It's very neat, very tiny. Well, that looks very difficult to do. They would hang it in front of the fire to dry? No, this is just our <laughs> exhibition for ah. to give a chance to leave a message if you like. Ah, so they would use the blotter to dry the ink. So when you were written something, oh, this is kind of beautiful. They would just use it to dry the ink. Ah, I see. Yeah. He'll be absolutely thrilled, my dear. I'm sure he will. Of course, this is uh, a few guesses what she might have looked like, but we do believe it's a very good guess. So we collected how friends and family described Jane, so that's what you can read to your left. So that's how we know she had hazel brown eyes and brown hair. And there were some undergarments that survived, so that's how they were able to take her measurements. So we know that she was five foot seven. Ah. Yeah. And we know about what size. She was small, right? Yes. She was, she she was, was thin very small and not very busty. Tender. Yes, <laughs> that's in the corner. <laughs> And the dress is something that she could have worn because in a letter to Cassandra, Jane is describing a dress similar to this one. And here we have some lovely behind the scenes pictures from Sense and Sensibility, donated to us by Emma Thompson herself. Oh, really? Yeah. How wonderful. Yeah, this is my favourite. Here we have Emma Thompson and Kate Winslet, and they're carrying around director Ang Lee on set. I love that one. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, I need to see it again. Yes, it's a wonderful adaptation. Mm. Oh, yes, and here's a note from Emma. Yes, yeah, so this is Emma Thompson's handwriting. It's a lovely note she'd given us. I think Sense and Sensibility really nailed the costumes as well. It really did a good mm. job with capturing that essence of the period. Gee. Of course, no visit to the Jane Austen Museum is complete without a visit to the gift shop, which in this case, of course, is full of her books. This is an early little thing she wrote for fun. A little comedy, the history of England by a partial prejudiced and ignorant historian. But then there's all kinds of packages of her books. I don't have to tell you what they are. If you're a Jane fan, you've gotten this far in my video. And now I'm going to leave this video and do some shopping and perhaps I need to buy this just to take Mr. Darcy home. On our way out of the Jane Austen Center, it was a wonderful experience. In every way, Mr. Knightley is not here anymore. But that was certainly worth the time. It only took about an hour. It was not very expensive, and uh, I learned about all things Jane Austen, about her life, about her books, and uh, got to dress up in Regency clothing, and it was a totally worthwhile experience, I think. No one should miss who is a literary fan if you come to Bath. So until next time, may your suitcase always be messy, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to see our next exciting video. Hasta luego. See you soon.